Getting a great guitar sound may not be as difficult as a lot of people might think. Um, it all starts with a great source. Um, I've seen a lot of musicians uh, take an amp that just doesn't sound good, or the signal's too low, or they have uh, tons and tons of effects on it to where it's hissing, um, there's delay and reverb all over the place. Um, that's not a good thing for a, uh, a signal that you want going into your DAW software where you would add effects and things like that there. And you don't want to have to be taking out noise, things like that. So basically you want to start with a great source signal. And what I have here is my guitar amp that I've been using forever. And it consists of nothing more than a preamp, a power amp, and a cabinet. There's no effects no reverb, no delay, no anything. Um, and what I'm going to use here is a Shure SM57 microphone. And what I want to do is basically, this is a 412 cabinet, and what I want to do is find the center of one of these 12 inch speakers, which is about right there, and put this microphone off to the side of that uh, center so you're not right on top of the cone that's in the center and about a quarter inch to half inch from the cabinet covering should do it. Now you want to make sure that your uh, guitar is, is loud enough to give you a good signal um, no matter what you've got it plugged into. May that be, uh, may the microphone be plugged into a mixer or into an external audio device or directly into your computer's sound card microphone input. No matter what it is, you want to make sure that the guitar amp is loud enough to give a good signal uh, and not too loud to distort. I've got mine plugged into a snake which then goes over to my mixer and we'll show you the mixer here and uh, give you a little bit of info about signal level. Here we are at the mixing board, and I've got my microphone, which is on my guitar amp, connected to channel 16. And what you want to do is uh, get enough gain out of the channel to uh, give a great signal without uh, having to turn it up in your DAW, which will give you a hiss. So we're going to start out. I don't know if you can see that green light. But I'm going to raise that up until I see a uh, red peak light and then I'll back it off a little bit. I'll see that's too much right there. I'll back it off. And that's going to be a good strong signal. Also with the uh, EQing on the board and on your guitar amp, you don't want to raise highs, lows, um, and you don't want to cut mids. Uh, believe it or not, guitar is mostly mid-range, and if you cut the mids to give yourself that heavy metal type of sound, your guitar sound is not going to cut through the recording, and it's not going to cut through a PA when you play live. Um, so leave it flat. 